We got more Linguini's Mansion on the line. Uh, you may have also noticed I got a Suica game on my uh, Switch now. My uh, my girlfriend kind of got me into this game. Maybe I'll delve into that a bit later. But yeah, we got another Linguini session. Not sure how long this one will be because honestly, I was thinking about just watching a bunch of YouTube tonight, but I haven't. I, I, oh. Okay, so uh, I may have installed a mod that uh, doesn't work. <laughs> That's a great start. It turns out that Luigi skin doesn't fucking work, and I didn't test it beforehand, so this is kind of awkward. Give me a sec. Alright, I'm not sure why the game crashed in the first place, but um, there was some file on there called, like, the globals.dict. I don't know what that file is, but I deleted it, and the game booted up just fine. So, that's kind of weird. Anyways. This is, uh, Red Luigi. <laughs> okay, good, it does work, then. So yeah, uh, once again, we're continuing the trend of having funny skins every episode, and this time I actually threw on a new one, because last time I kind of forgot to. So yeah. Anyways, we finished up uh, Haunted Towers last time, and you know, I've also done Gloomy Manor, so let's do Old Clockworks. Good news, Louis. Good news, everyone! I've located the next Dark Moon piece. It's at the top of the to clock tower. You see that, Luigi? That's where the next Dark Moon piece is. The old clockworks. Before it was abandoned, this place once produced the finest timepieces ever made. But years of neglect have turned it into a favorite hunt. Or hunt. For ghosts. See the pun I did there? So it wasn't surprising when the telescope detected a dark moon piece inside the old clockworks. By the way, I do have, um, I do got a cup of tea on the way, so I might get up in a few minutes to go grab that, but... Hey, it'll make the stream a bit more enjoyable for me, because I get to drink my tea, and I like tea, so that's good. And after turning the periscope a little more, I was actually able to pinpoint its precise location. The top of the clock tower. Oh, I wonder if Sakuya lives there. Now you see this fancy locking door? That's the clock tower gate. Looking, not locking. I'm, 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 my... My, uh, my speech today is kind of all over the place. You need to, uh, you need to get in through in order to climb the clock tower. Dual screen map updated. Holy shit, it actually did update. That's fucking insane. We know where the dark moon piece is this time, so you won't have to stumble around in the dark. Yep, this'll be a snap slick as a whistle. I mean, what could possibly go wrong? Oh shit, I gotta become Minecraft again! <laughs> you know, I got a funny- I got a funny uh, message from Matteo today, which, uh, I might also explain, but I, I gotta get my tea in, like, a few seconds, so... Yeah. You can get a glimpse at, uh, old clockworks, though. <laughs> Yeah, I can already tell Luigi's gonna have the time of his life in this place. It's very, it's, it's kind of like a mix of like a steampunk aesthetic and a desert aesthetic. Kind of neat. Anyways, uh, my tea's done, so BRB. Alright, well, it's not quite Earl Grey tea, but herbal tea is the next best thing. What the hell are these buddies? Yeah, I mean I'm all I'm not allowed to drink uh, Earl Grey tea, you know when it's you know almost twelve in the morning. But I mean, hey, that's just because you know caffeine will keep me awake all night, and I, I don't want that. So yeah. 
Alright, let's have a look at this. This is pretty cool. Oh, you can see you can see the monster ghost there. I'm already loving the atmosphere of this place, man. This is some good shit right here. Rat! Man, it's always the frickin' rats that do damage to me. Yeah, anyways, uh, Matty was saying how, like, he, he was saying how, like, hey, can you can you give me a copy of Jamboree? I don't want to support Kevin Afghani's Mario voice. <laughs> Those weren't his exact words, but I'm just paraphrasing. And yeah, I, I just find that funny. So I was like, all right, here you go. Here, here's a copy of the game. And, um, you know, I think, I think he's currently gonna play that with his friends or something. Does anything happen if I blow on it? There's gonna be a lot of gear puzzles, I can already tell. Am I, am I there's like a certain time I'm supposed to be doing with this thing? Probably. I just don't know. There's something I can do with this. Hmm. Well, all the clocks say like six fifteen, so maybe we need to make we need to make that the time. Not it. Oh wait, no, it needs to be 3.30. Oops, I'm stupid. There you go. See, now if that was younger me, I wouldn't have been able to figure that out, but... I got an idea on how uh, puzzles like that work. Here, give me a mon one coin. One coin, please. Dang it! Is there anything to use the dark light on out of curiosity? Probably not. <laughs> Imagine you're a kid and you get to this frickin' dungeon. And you just- you can't even think to read the time on all the clocks. And then you just get stuck. <laughs> well, see, one hell of a way to stop the game, right? We already got a bunch of greenies. Or he pissed off. Oh, here it is. Here's the theme song again. Wait, there's a boo in this room? Where? Thing is, I haven't caught a boo since, like, episode one. <laughs> So, yeah. Hello, Boo, where are you? I'll have to figure out where all the Boos are in the next, uh, like, near the end of the series. Gotta love that, uh, gotta love that harpsichord. Just spin in circles, that'll do it, a trick. Money! What am I supposed to do with this, exactly? Do I need to, um... Do I need to put it here? Ah, oh, okay, there we go. Oh, that's the key! <laughs> You're actually supposed to do that. Cool. Oh, there's just a scooter in that one. Do some of these have, like, money in it or whatever? Bills? Yeah, I mean, I'll take the bills. Oh, it looks like there's supposed to be something here. I guess green being the, the ones that give you money makes sense. 
That's kind of cool. Yay, more money. Where the fuck is that boo? <laughs> That's a good question. Oh. Hey, look at that. I can go up here. I can, I can hear you, boo. Where are you? You in the webs? You, you in here? Okay, I, I can't do that quite yet. How have I only now heard of the boo? Like, how have I just not... Like, I'm in the third mansion. This is only my second boo that I'm hearing. <laughs> how the fuck did I go that long without hearing a boo, bro? That's what I'm wondering. I'm guessing this is what? locked. Oh, that's the door I'm supposed to go in. Oh. Oh. What was the other door do? I don't know. I guess we'll figure that out later. Yeah, so my girlfriend's been playing a lot of Suica game. She's not playing the actual Suica game. She's playing like, um... She's playing like some, you know, knockoff on the, uh, on the, you know, mobile device. Now get back here, bro. Yeah, let me take a, let me take a quick tea break. Well, I don't know how badly, um, the timer is. Like, how, how much does the timer actually contribute to your final ranking and shit? Is what I'm wondering. I got the real, uh, Suica game on my Switch, though. Ooh, gold guy. We haven't seen this guy in a while. Yeah, apparently there's gold guys in the first mansion that I missed out on, too. I never came across them at all. So... That's my bad, I guess, for not coming across them earlier. And I'm trying to suck up this sand. There's gonna be a lot of sand in this dungeon, I can already tell. Nope, you go inside. You go inside the vacuum. More money. See this game. This game definitely. It definitely feels a lot better to get money in this game than I thought at first. Mm, nothing. I mean, it's still never. Still, nothing's ever going to be as satisfying as the first Luigi's Mansion because money is like the most prevalent in that game. This is why I like. It. That's like the. There's two things I like about Luigi's Mansion 1. The combat... ...and the, uh... ...the, the money. <laughs> the money aspect, how you get a better rank at the end of the game. Like, in terms of this game and the third game, it feels more like an adventure, you know? Oh, hey, cool. My first gem. Like, it feels more like an adventure for these games, which, you know, it, it's a different vibe, you know? Uh, it's not bad at all. And that's why I think a lot of people say Luigi's Mansion 3 is their favorite, because, you know, they love the, uh, you know, the adventure aspect. Also, what am I supposed to do with these? Oh. I'm supposed to blow these up. Alright, I'll just blow these up real quick. I saw a mouse in there. And there's sand here. Sand Undertale. Oh, that's a... Uh, probably a teleporter for a later mission, I take it? Okay, so... The clock's hands are missing here. That's kind of sus. Eh? <laughs> eh? Hello. Good job, Luigi. I see you made it to the gate. Billing banshees, the clock hands are missing. 
Ho ho ho! Those ghosts are sure a clever bunch. You see the clock hands operate the clock tower gate. The ghosts figured out that out and hid them from us. Incredible. Well, not for us, of course. It's actually pretty terrible. It would take a strong ghost to pry off those clock hands. I scan the area for any powerful paranormal signals. Hold tight, I'll let you know when I find something. Okay, so it's not a case of me needing the dark thing. That guy's not strong enough. Oh shit, hold on. Oh, I just have to outrun him. Can I like blow on it? Get back here, bitch. Actually, out of curiosity, does this game still have the thing where Luigi takes damage? Oh yeah, it does. Okay, I'm actually glad that's still a thing, because I remember that was a thing in Luigi's Mansion, the first game. If you, like, don't- if you don't hold back on the stick... Bro? Hello? Okay. If you don't hold back on the stick, you, um, actually take damage, which I think is kind of cool. Like, you have, you have to actually be in control of the vacuum, you know? <laughs> I haven't done that in a sec. Okay, anything else I can do here? Hmm. That looks like there's something here. There's definitely something missing here. Oh. I even get that from down here? I probably need to go to the second floor to get that. What? <laughs> Luigi always oh, sounds so disappointed when he opens the fucking locked door. He's like, huh. I guess that happened. Oh. Hello. Well, I think I found our clock thieves. There's a strong signal on the ground, and I reckon it's them. According to my research, there's a special compass that should help you get down there. Mm -hmm. It's likely stored somewhere in the drafting office. Check your map and hop to it. Ciao. Hmm. Okay. So is this the, um... I know there's a mansion with a giant ice guy for a face. I think that's the next mansion. I think it's called, like, the Abandoned Mines or something. Spooter. Then what's the boss of this mansion? I know there's, like, some giant knight or something you fight at some point. I don't know if that's this mansion. Also, this is pretty neat. <laughs> yeah. And then we get stairs, and that's how we get up to that second floor. This is how I summon a gold guy. Booze? Watch out, Toad, the booze are gonna molest you. Bro, the booze didn't even try. They just, like, stood there. Also, I see a gem there, so that's helpful. I'm not gonna get all the gems first try, obviously, but... I'm gonna see how many I can get, obviously. Man, these are getting all spooky. Ooh. Dang, Louie. <laughs> Louie really gets the short end of the stick, huh, doesn't he? Oh shit, get back, get back! Hit that bastard. The thing is, you barely- you very rarely ever get to use your, um, like, second tier vacuum, because half the ghosts you find in this game are just 10 HP ghosts. Hello, are you in the box? Oh, I mean, hey, I'll take that. At least I'm not gonna die on this mission now. Oh, I see, you little shit. Dang it. 
Damn, Luigi can turn the right way. These guys it's useful on because they have more than 10 health. I love all the renditions of this song. It's great. I actually did not know that this song gets reused a bunch of times. Well, the late motif, rather. So I actually kind of- I think that's kind of cool, honestly. It kind of makes some- um, Aw, oh, crap, I should- I should have shot at that. There, kill the scooter. Oh, well, the red spider still gives stuff, too. Alright, so... Thankfully, I already figured out what to do in this room. I mean, this never gets old, honestly. The the dark light is still, like, a really fun mechanic. Is there more bridge here? Wait, hang on, Scooter. Okay, where's my fucking money, game? Why did it disappear? Love the harp. The harp is great. Oh, is that like... Oh, it looks kind of looks like the floor is breaking apart. Ooh. Forgot those guys can give you hearts, too. Yay, more health. Well, now I'm fully healed. Does that mean there's a boss coming up or something? Pretty kind of crazy. Yeah, eat all the papers. What the hell are you doing, son? What do you think you're doing, mate? Can I... are there more papers I can get rid of? Oh, there's one of those bee things. I mean, hey, I don't know, you never know, maybe there's something, like, hidden in the papers. There's something here that I'm missing? Oh. Look at that. Oh wait, hang on. I see a fake wall here. Never mind, that didn't do anything. Oh, there's that guy. Well, there's a lot of these guys. Get over here. Okay. Ooh, I got both of them. It's kind of hard to get them, though, and they're all, like, freaking out over here. Oh my god. <laughs> Bro keeps spooking me, dude. Oh, I got all of them. Dude, let's go. I will gladly take those gold bars, bro. So you get money, you get freaking money for, um, doing that. Wait, well, hey, there it is. So you get more money if you suck up multiple ghosts. That's actually a really cool idea. What you got there, son? Ah, oh, that must be the special compass. I'll bring you back so I can take a gander it. Hold on a sec. Oh, is that the entire first mission? That wasn't too bad at all, actually. I did it. Yeah, I did pretty good on that mission, you gotta admit. Look at all that Moonie I got, man. I'm so good. I'll take two stars. What if I made this Luigi's new, um, victory theme in Smash? <laughs> Well, actually, no, what I could do, make this his, like, after a victory theme, you know what I mean? Like how Cloud has, uh, his own. I can make Luigi's victory theme this. <laughs> also, I just realized the frickin' pun in the level name. Also, I'm hoping that the internet doesn't die again like it did last time. <laughs> it, was, it was truly sad, bro.
Minecraft time. Oh, okay, I'm here. They're gonna keep reusing these freaking EGAD voice clips till the end of the time, I swear. We're gonna get to Luigi's Mansion 4. Kevin Obgani is gonna be doing Luigi, and they're still gonna recycle these old ass EGAD clips. <laughs> Bro, I'm fucking telling you that. That's gonna happen. You know, who even voices EGAD anyway? It's probably gonna be some. It's probably gonna be some uh, designer at Nintendo or something. I don't know. Knowing, uh, knowing, knowing this game. Wait a minute, fucking Totaka voices him? What? How? <laughs> That's funny. So they've been reusing Totaka's freaking voice clips for, like, the exact same ones that he made in the first game for the, like, past 20 years, bro. <laughs> How the fuck? That is actually wild. Hmm. I wonder if there's a trivia on that or something. Hmm. <laughs> Well, apparently it says Egad's voice lines Uyama is an exclamation of surprise, and apparently that's also his Japanese name. <laughs> well, I learned something new. Actually, that makes sense because Egad is, um, a, you know, that that word means like, oh my god, you know, and that's literally what his Japanese name means. So, I guess that's a good enough translation. Oh yeah, I forgot. Iga was supposed to be a playable character in Mario Kart DS. And we still got robbed of Iga being in Mario Kart. He still hasn't shown up in a Mario Kart game since then. Aww. Not even in the booster course pass. Hey, maybe, maybe, you know what, Ega, you might get a chance to be in Mario Kart 9. You just might get a chance. I really thought that getting a Dark Moon piece would be a breeze. Should have known those pesky ghosts wouldn't make it easy for us. Speaking of ghosts, let's unload the Poltergeist 5000. Well, I mean, we didn't get anything too crazy. We got a gem and moon knee. Not sure what that upgrade is gonna be. It's probably gonna be the final Poltergust upgrade. I don't. I don't know. But I did get some good ghosts. Let me see that strange special compass thing. Okay, I found it. He kept in his butt the whole time. Well, I'll be. This is really something else. I'm gonna need some time to examine it. Perhaps you'd like to visit the vault in the meantime. To be fair, I have never checked out the vault. <laughs> I think three levels tonight is good, honestly. We got the Underground Expedition. Good news, Luigi. The special compass revealed an alternate entrance to the underground. <laughs> I've marked it for you. Whip out the dual screen and take a look. <laughs> Alright, Luigi, pull out your dick. The normal access may be blocked, but there's an exterior hatch located in the Clockworks Court. Clockworks Court. That's a, that's a fun one to say. And get this, the special compass opens it. They don't call it special for nothing. <laughs> Now, let's talk about the missing parts of the clock tower gate. It's gonna be like, in a frickin' vault somewhere in the underground, and I gotta kill a bunch of guys to get it. We're looking for the clock hens. You know, the things that tell you when it's bedtime. <laughs> Knowing ghosts, they probably took them as deep underground as possible. Good luck, young feller. Don't get lost down there. <laughs> okay, it's Minecraft time again.
Alright, here we are. We're at the entrance again. Well, there's probably some shit I can do out here. Hmm. Bro, this 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 out this outside music, dead ass. Also, I didn't do right. I didn't try this last time. I don't know why I didn't think to do this. This dead ass sounds like it's either in like Resident Evil or like Metroid. Bro, really? I got trolled. Wait, hang on. Come back. I'll take it. I wonder if that's something different in another mission. Okay, they, I, I probably should be doing that, because they those, those guys give one... They give one gold each. Okay, the question is, where do I use it? Oh, this is, uh... This isn't blocked off anymore. Hey, I'll take my free money, let's go. Hmm... Can't go over there. Wait, now it's just a dead end again. So there's nothing actually over here. Oh wait, I think it's marked on my map. I'm stupid. <laughs> it's right here. I wasn't even paying attention to the map, honestly. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Hello? Hello? <laughs> Honestly, not what I was expecting to happen. <laughs> I was expecting Lu I was expecting it to like go down like an elevator and move really fast, and Luigi would freak the fuck out. But I mean, that works too. There's a bomb in here. Oh. Not a good way to start off the level. Gotcha, bitch. Give me that rock. You don't deserve rocks. Dwayne the Cock Johnson. Uh, is there anything else in here? Ooh. Nope. Oh. <laughs> okay. Bro was just chilling under the bed this whole time. Pretty chill way to start the level off. Well, we got another remix of this song. Also, I see, um, I see that. Yeah, man, I'm at least I'm guaranteed to get a couple of the gems on my first visit, you know? Not every puzzle I'm gonna be able to figure out. What do we do here? Is there something I'm supposed to use with the dark light? Maybe this rock? <laughs> Can I destroy? Oh. I mean, I don't know what to do with this, honestly. Um, something here maybe? Oh, look at that. Oh, wait. Is this, what I, is this what the rock's for? Is that why that ghost had the rock? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> the classic weight puzzle. Oh god, bomb. Get away from the bomb. Okay, well, at least I didn't take damage from the bomb. Bro, bro's trolling now. They're throw they're putting bombs in this shit. Well, at least I know I'm not gonna have trouble with health anymore since I know to 
gang, not gang bang, flash bang the spiders. Don't gang bang the spiders. Come on, that's disgusting. <laughs> uh, boom. Shit, I missed. Boom. There you go. Is that gonna blow up the pathway? Oh yeah, sure enough. Wait, hang on, secret? Oh. Dang, look at this. Come on, this is pretty fucking cool. Wait, is that another secret? Oh, it kinda stood out to bit it kinda stood out a bit. Oh, hang on. Hey, I found a bonus! <laughs> these are, these are kind of funny. Gold guy! Alright, let me open this. Do those guys do, do, do those guys eventually go away or what? Give me all that money! Oh, give me that! Come on, give me that chest! Yeah! Look at go! Look at all that money, bro! Dang, that was a that was a good secret, bro. Wonder how many of those I'm gonna find by the end of the game, huh? Hmm. Dang, look at my money. I got six hundred already. It's pretty good. Hey, I mean, if that's the only thing that was in here, I don't mind too much because that was pretty good. Oh, <laughs> Luigi, Luigi uh, messed up. There we go. Oh yeah, actually you were supposed to do that. You regress. Hello? Oh wait, I'm stupid. There you go. <laughs> There's a spooter there. What's with the box? Ooh! Look at that. Yeah, bro, bro's in the box. Don't think I don't see you there, buddy. Gotcha, bitch. Alright, so which door which door works? This one? Okay, that looks like the way forward. But what about this door here? Alright, we got more trolls. Yeah, already saw that one coming. How many frickin' bombs are you gonna put in here, dude? You must be addicted to that. Nothing in there. Oh, is this a toad? Oh. I thought it was. So wait, is this the way forward then, or what? Lugi, can you hear me? Oh, hey, hey, my chat box isn't working. There we go. Hello, chat member. You must be very deep underground. Look at the tunnel. It seems that old clock uh, was built directly above an uh, archaeology site. Be who knows what things you'll find down. But let's hope 
clock hands among them. Bro, the reception's so bad down here, dude. Hmm, this tea's pretty good, though. Oh, hell yeah. So far, I haven't actually, uh, used a gold bone. Oh. What the fuck? Boo! Bro, those boo- that boo sure is having fun. So that was just a fun little fluff cutscene, I guess, huh? Alright, anything else I can do here? Now that I think about it, there is a desert, um, there is a desert-themed place in, um, the third game, right? Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know why I thought this was gonna be a, you know, mid-Luigi's Mansion game. This is, like, really good. I mean, obviously, it is still, like, the, you know, least good of the three. But it's still great. I'm sure there's some people out there who say this is their favorite one, and which I don't blame them. Well, I mean, if you can make a desert area fun, then you're doing a good job. <laughs> Ooh, Moony! Look at all that Moony. Well, that is pretty neat. Little sand area there, huh? More hearts. Oh yeah, okay, Twitch- Twitch just doesn't want to fucking work today. It's not showing the chat box on my phone for some fucking reason. That's annoying. Thank god it actually shows up on my stream, though. Hmm. <laughs> Hello, anything in here? Bro, you know what this room kind of reminds me of? This room, this reminds me of a room in Devil May Cry 4, of all things. <laughs> 3 S tier, 1 A tier, 2 B tier. Yo, guys, I got 9-11 money! Ooh, bats. Dang, I can't catch the bats. <laughs> Lol, you think you're so fucking funny? Get your ass over here. <laughs> oh yeah, the 3DS. I, I don't even get me started on the 3DS port, bro. Oops. Pretty sure you need to bait these guys. Either that or you need to grab the shovels somehow. Oh, you know, you need to bait them when they're attacking. My bad. Take a freaking dump. Get over here! I got I got four free gold bars. Dumbass. <laughs> Bait then suck. Hey yo, bro, save that. <laughs> save <laughs> save that for a different time. Not on stream, man. Okay, the ghost, the ghost, the ghost uh, busting is getting a lot better, honestly. Now that they've introduced more ghost types. <laughs> well, there is definitely a secret over here. Can't tell me otherwise.
<laughs> it's like midnight. Boo! Boo ha ha ha, I'm Bootin. Oh my god. Get it, guys? Because the guys who made this game are Canadian? Lol. So funny. Okay, whatever, that's enough of that. Wait, did they actually give the name the the Boo's names in this version, or was that always in the original? Because I'm pretty sure you need to use this. Yeah, take that, Boo. <laughs> the the Boo is going crazy. Get over here, Boo. All of them had names, but the quality variety varies. Well, Bootin, I'm already losing it with Bootin, bro. <laughs> Bootin is like the greatest pun to start off the episode. By the way, that's the second Boo that I've caught all the game. I couldn't fucking find any other ones. Hello. Fantastic! I'm glad you found and captured that hooligan. They're very elusive, only coming out when their hiding spots been found. They may all look the same, but each has its own personality. Try to capture them all. Otherwise, they might regroup, and their power grows when they gather in large numbers. I mean, that's the same from the first game. But honestly, I like the booze better in the first game, because you actually had a tracker. Like, like, a, like a tracker that was always on screen. It's like, hey, hey, dumbass, you got 40 booze, you're almost there, you know? Man, that, that, this game's making me want poutine now. <laughs> that boomerang. Can I not, uh, grab this? What about game, what about game boo advance? <laughs> you know, hey, I bet, I bet in, um... I bet in the year, uh, 2024, they could probably could come up with some more funny Boo names. Like, uh, OK Boomer. <laughs> That's a good Boo name. There you go, there's one. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm done with this. I, I need to go, uh, I want to go in here and get this. Money! Or what was another, what's another good m m boo name? Peekaboo, yeah. What about, what about Bamboozled? <laughs> is, that, is that a boo name already? Probably. Alright, here we go. Bamboo. <laughs> Oh yeah, Booligan. Man, we have we have Booligan, Cooligan. How many boo how many names do we need? Ooh. Check that out. I kinda want that gold bar. Hold up. Yeah, I'm just getting distracted thinking about boo names. <laughs> it's a great a great episode, isn't it? Bro, I swear the atmosphere in this game is something else. Like, there ain't, ain't no way I've I've gone, like, 12 years and not noticed this game's fucking atmosphere. This was 20... Wait, was this 2013 or 2012? I think it was 2013. I've gone 11 years without playing this game, and I have never fucking... Nobody's ever told me how great the atmosphere is in this game. How the hell? Okay, well, there's only one thing to do here. Ooga Booga. <laughs> I can't tell if that's a real one or not. <laughs> Luigi's got... Looks like more like a sword, bro. Oh no, it's, it's the frickin' Poltergeist. Wait, they deadass named a Boo Boo Ooga Booga? Bro, I thought that was just a fucking meme. <laughs> Hmm. 
They should make another one called Richter Ghoulmont. <laughs> oh shit, we got a real mummy. Live action mummy, guys. Well, I'm probably supposed to do something here. Okay, that's not working. Am I stupid? Oh. Bro, bro, just faceplant that guy. Psych, he's actually a greenie in disguise. He's lame. Oops, lame alert. Lame-o alert. Wait, let me kill these guys. Yeah, give me the free money. Money, money, money. Whoops. I might actually need that gold bone after all. Alright, come at me, bro. Alright, I guess we need that gold bone after all. Was this in the original, by the way? Yeah, that was. Well, I appreciate that, because I, I can live. The first time I actually used one of those. Oh, I see. Okay, I know how to fight these guys now. Get over here, bitch. So you flash, you flashbang them, and then they face plan to the wall, and then you go. There you go. Or you could not do that. Hey, uh, hello, sir. I'd like you to flat face plan to the wall, please. Hello. Hello. Bitch. There we go. <laughs> That's one way to get rid of the mummies. Get over here! Alright, we good. Luigi gets attention from a doggy. Luigi, are you alright? Mm -hmm. Did you see that big-headed ghost? He ran up with the clock hands with four. We need to trip down. I'll uh, you back so we regroup. Yeah, we did it. That was a close one, bro. I almost ate shit that mission. Actually, I did ate shit, and then I came back to life. You know Luigi's godlike when he can die and then come back from the dead just by getting attention from a dog. <laughs> See, Mario, he uses one-ups. Luigi, he uses dogs. And Wario, he comes back to life with the power of wealth. <laughs> Dead ass. That's that's why I like Wario, bro. He 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 can live infinitely as long as he's wealthy. All right, let's do one more level. Yeah, I've gotten mostly two stars, and I somehow got a three star without even trying a lot of levels. So I don't know. The ranking system's kind of weird in this game. Good job down there, my boy. Those ghosts pretending to be mummies, what a hoot. Let's send the clever little rascals to the vault, eh? Take a dump now. Mmm. I got a new gem. And the boo! And look at all that fucking money I got, bro. I got like 1300. Damn! Yay! Level 3. I wonder how useful that'll actually be, though. <laughs> the trash can ghosts. 
I mean, I mean, I just love the- I have a soft spot for all the Luigi's Mansion 1 ghosts. And I'm gonna be honest, I don't fucking remember any of the ghosts from the third game. The only ones I remember are the Goops and the- What are the, what are the red guys are called? I don't remember. The guys that are basically just rip off the red guys from this game. Because that's my problem with Luigi's Mansion 3. They just took- Basically, Luigi's Mansion 3 is, Hey, Luigi's Mansion 2, can I copy your homework? Yeah, but don't make it look too obvious. And that's what Luigi's Mansion 3's ghosts are. <laughs> they just copied Luigi's Mansion 2's homework. And that's how he ended up with th those ghosts. And they're very- they're ever so slightly better than the ones from this game. The periscope went crazy when he appeared, so he must be very powerful. On the bright side, that very power will allow me to track him down. While I scan the old clockworks, why don't you go check on the vault? I caught some che cheeky ghosts trying to break free earlier. You really want me to check on the vault that badly, Ged? We got the boo! I mean, that's one level I have to- that's one less level I have to go back to. <laughs> You know, let's fucking check out the vault then, because Ige won't shut up about it. Z Holy shit, look at all the money I have. The ghost container. Evershade Valley ghosts. Greeny. They like to tinker with things they shouldn't and wield everyday objects as weapons. First find a way to disarm them and stunt them with your flashlight. Slammers. <laughs> they might look like ruthless brutes, but these tender fellas have a heart of gold in the normal circumstances. Just don't let them give you a round of applause. Hider. These clever fellows love playing hide and seek. A bit impatient though, so if you take too long, they'll start throwing things at you. Sneaker. <laughs> These ghosts are swift and cunning. They love to turn invisible and sneak up behind their targets with their pranks. So use the dark light device to catch them in the act. Oh, that's a good tip, actually. Creeper. These gooey ghosts just love to cuddle and they'll never want to let you go. But after the dark moon broke apart, they forgot about the cuddling part. Watch out for them on the floors and ceilings. Oh yeah, and we also have the sisters, which I, I don't remember if the sisters ever show up again. The youngest of the Fable Three sisters. Her hobbies include playing with her mirror and annoying her older sisters by pointing out their flaws. According to her sister, Herlinda, she's the eldest of the three. She's an expert on flowers and plants and loves gardening. One of the Fabled sisters. According to her sister, she's the eldest of the three. Her hobbies include comparing herself to flowers and looking in the mirror. So they love flowers, I can tell that. Gobber. Their appetite is formidable. With stomachs that lack physical boundaries, they won't hesitate to devour everything around them. Be wary of the puddles of goo. Oh yeah, and this guy. These big-headed know-it-alls have swollen brains and egos that afford them telekinetic powers. Sadly, their sense of humor seems to be underdeveloped. Oh, we caught- we caught- Oh, interesting. Gold Greeny, which by the way, this is like the stupidest fucking name ever. Gold Greeny. Yeah. So we're missing, uh... Missing quite a few ghost types still, I'd say. Okay, a lot of ghost types. I mean, at least there's more variety in this game than I thought. So, I mean, that's good. Ah, uh, well, here's my gem collection as well. So we got amethyst, emeralds, and rubies. Let me guess. The next, um, the next mansion is gonna have sapphires, probably. I actually got quite a lot in the haunted towers. I'm impressed with that. So we're missing seven from gloomy manor, five from haunted towers, and we'll see about old clockworks. Although we're probably just gonna do one more level. Oh. Alright, that, that, was, that, was, that was a fun little diversion, I'd say. Alright, Roundhouse Brawl. 
Guess what, Luigi? The periscope was able to find that poltergeist that took the clock hands. Its signal is different from the other ghosts. I expect that we may be dealing with an ancient poltergeist. Very exciting stuff. Capturing an ancient ghost would make for groundbreaking research. Alright then, he seems to have settled in the roundhouse. My bro's gonna get a roundhouse kick to the face. Be very careful in there, Luigi. Ghosts tend to gain power over time, and this poltergeist seems to be absolutely ancient. Ah, no worries, Egan. I just got the level 3 suck. I guess you could say he has a lot of time on his hands. Get it? The time on his hands, because he has the clock hands. <sighs> never, never cook again, Egad. <laughs> Honestly, that could be a good title. <laughs> you know what? You know, what? I'm gonna write that one down. <laughs> never cook again, Egad. Oh hey, we're back here. Hold on, I'm writing my I'm writing my shit down. Oh hey, we're, so we're back in this room for some reason. Nope, 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 nope. You ain't getting me, buddy. So what is the point of those beep boops? I want this. It's got money in it. Yeah! So am I supposed to go up here now? We already messed with this in the first mission. Oh, hang on a second. My big brain! Get back here. Get back here, chest. Where are you going, you little shit? Get back here. You think you're so fucking funny? Get over here. Yeah, and a spider made its way over here too. I got 93 bucks. Look at that. Can I, uh... Can I, like, launch this down there? Oh my god, are you telling me I gotta carry this shit all the way back? Also, can I go in here? Oh. I could just completely ignore that door and go over here. <laughs> if I really wanted to. Eh. Nah. Alright, I'll, I'll, I'll bite. Let me take this. Look at Luigi shuffle, by the way. <laughs> this better have some good moon me in it. Whoa, where are you going? <laughs> okay, I'm grabbing that. This, well, what do you know? What, what, how much you want to bet this has like a, a gem in it or something? Nope, just a lot of money, which you know what is good too. I'm starting to think one of these is going to have a gem in it after all. <laughs> find out. Yeah, I mean, I might as well, right? It's free money. Yay! Alright, what else? Is there anything else I'm missing in this room? Bro, what the fuck happened to the web? Why is there all this web here, man? What is this? Charlotte's web over here, huh? Oh wait, hang on. This this is probably um this is probably that gem right here. I'm calling it. I'm calling it. This is a gem. Yes. All right, it was all worth it. All right, we're in the roundhouse. No, nothing. Hey! 
Revival items are always nice. Oh. Yellow. Good job, Luigi. You made it to the roundhouse. Mm -hmm. But the poltergeist signal is on the other side of the room. You'll need to find a way across that gap. If I were you, I'd shave my mustache and try to lift it in the warehouse. Well, I mean, I can go down here. Hey, hey there's just a gem chilling up there. What the hell? That was like the freest gem of all time right there. I'm gonna ignore what you guys said. I'm gonna go down here. Wait a minute, we're just back here again. What the heck? There's nothing even in here. And also these rocks are in the way too, so I can't even get over there now. Okay, I'm gonna guess there's a whole fat lot of nothing in here. Well, I mean, we have a shortcut. We know how to get down here now. We know how to get to the freaking underground desert area. Really feels like there should be something down here. Alright, I'll actually go where I'm supposed to go. Um... Man, Luigi, you need to stop putting lube on your shoes, man. Um, well, is there... There's something else over here. <laughs> Luigi put too much lube on his shoes, bro. Hmm. I can't get over there, then... Maybe I am supposed to go around. I mean, why else would there be a door up there? You know, that makes sense. Because uh, the door on the bottom floor is locked. Okay, what, what about in here? Oh. I think this is where I'm supposed to be. What? Arrows? Bro, get this carpet out of here. What the fuck? Wake up. What time does he want? Uh, what is that like? You know what? It's six in the morning, wake up, douchebag! Well, it needs to match his alarm clock. What is that? What time does that say? It looks like, um... What is that? Nine in the morning? Wake up, douchebag! Wake up! Sit lol, dumbass. Get over here! Hey, that was a fun puzzle. I got to wait that asshole up. Look at that, I went from having like two or three gems to five. That's a pretty big deal. That's a great improvement, I'd say. So there's a whole lot of nothing in here, but except for that gem, so that's important enough for me. Okay, so this is probably where I need to go then? Oh hey, we're back in the roundhouse again. Oh. 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 having fun over there. <laughs> There he is, Luigi. But you'll need to reach the other side of the room to get down there. You can use the beams to get across. Use the right stick to jump from beam to beam. Hope you're not afraid of heights, youngster. Also, it's been almost an hour and a half. 
And I have barely even touched my tea. So use the right stick? God damn it. Honestly, the gyro is the only rough thing about this. Just gotta hold the stick safe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're having a little too much fun over there. Hello, Boo. There's there's no bow in here. Bro, we're always having a little too much fun. Hmm. Alright, anything else over here? Oh god, he's getting even louder. Can I not unlock this? Oh. I can go in here. There's a boo in here! <laughs> wow. that's, that's a cute boo right there, I tell you what. Hello, can I go in here? Fuck, I can't go in this door, damn it. Wait, all of these doors have something in them? That's crazy. Oh, hello. Away. Oh, this is that, um... Oh, shit. Give me that gold. Give me that gold, bro. Come on. There we go. Hmm. Can I look in here? Where is that ghost at, anyway? Probably like trolling. Oh, he's right there. Lol. You can't fool me with that crap. Is there another one trolling somewhere? Oh, I got one of them. I love it. I love the different creative ways of catching these guys. So, I mean, that's honestly the only thing that's keeping these greenies that interesting. It's like I am looking here. Zip. the hell is going on with, with this? Oh wait, hang on. That's like a fate. Is there anything in- there's gotta be something in this room, right? Oh wait, I see money up there. Come on, Luigi, you grab that money. I always forget I can press X to look up. There is a bit of extra money up there, though, I can grab. There you go, I'll take it. Hey, yeah, there's even an arrow that says go in this door, dumbass. I'm guessing I'm supposed to go in this door then. So that's why you're supposed to go in each of these rooms. <laughs> this is a cool, this is like the cool puzzle in itself, man. I hope the Metroid music is back. <laughs> it's not just me, it sounds like something to hear in Metroid Prime, right? <laughs> 
Oh, I see you, bro. Oh, it's a big guy. What's the big guy doing in here? Gotcha, bitch. Well, I like how he dropped a heart, but it fell into the pit. <laughs> God damn it, bro. Yeah, I'm actually, uh... I'm slowly finishing up more of my YouTube videos. And by my YouTube videos, I mean, like, videos that I'm watching right now. Am I supposed to do that? Oh, that made it worse. <laughs> I don't know if I'm supposed to do that. Is there a limit to how many times I can do this? Oh, there we go. Wait, hang on, can I do it a fourth time? No, okay. I mean, who knows, maybe there's a reason you'd want to do that. Yay! Look at all that money! I mean, there is this seven hour long video by... Whatever the... I forgot his name. I'm gonna call him Mr. Odyssey for now, until I can remember his name. Odyssey Central, yeah. I've been watching this guy recently. He's kind of like, um, the new, like, brain rot YouTube creator for me right now. And, um... I've been watching him. And, uh... Yeah, I've been, I've been quite enjoying all the content that he's been doing. And he has a seven hour long video on, um, like, ranking Mario levels. Also, I'm gonna grab that money real quick. Ooh, Spooters! Guess we're not grabbing that money. Alright, so we're in this room now. It's very foggy. First of all, check and see if there's anything missing. Oh yeah, there is definitely something missing. See, I've been just kind of trying to binge this freaking seven hour long ranking video. <laughs> and it's taken me a while. What are you doing in there, bro? Oh, can I not? I not I can't get that to work, can I? Hmm. Yeah, this doesn't work, does it? Hmm. There's something else to do with these? Oh, you can come out now. Anything else I can do here? Can I unlock this? Oh. I can unlock it now. Oh, there they are. Whoops. Well, that was the that was the shortest lived ever thing ever. I don't even know what I said there. The shortest lived ever thing ever. Gotcha, bitch. Again. And a boo! Boodonculus is in the building. Oh hell yeah, Boodonculus. My name makes no sense. <laughs> oh, hang on, we got the, uh... We got the, the full charge. Oh, hell yeah, that did some good damage, bro.
Oh, the, the boots are pretty fun to catch in this game, I'd say. Bro, the boots, like, inflate, dude. And they're especially squeaky in this game, too. Very squeaky booze. Alright, anything else I need to know about in this room? No. That boot they they just handed that boob out for free, honestly. Oh hell yeah. Wait, hang on, I'm stupid. Okay, that was worth it. I got some free money. Eating shit for money, you know. God damn it, I unplugged my frickin' headphones. I hate when I do that. Alright, we just got, um... Wait, are we done here? Oh, we are. Alright, here's this key. Wait, I'm not done yet. Is it? Alright, give me that key. How do I get back over there? Oh, there we go. Alright, well, hey, look, now this room works properly. Thanks for the free money. Oh, it's, it's still, it's still acting up. <laughs> hmm. Well, hang on. Maybe I'm supposed to use the key here. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> that never get. I don't know why I find that so fucking funny. Just Luigi being like, oh. <laughs> Thanks for the free money. Oh, well, I can tell this is fake. Look at all that free money, yeah! Oh, hey, look at that! Another gem- another gem for Luigi! I actually find quite a few gems. Alright, what else we got? I think- I think we're about to fight a boss in a second here. Bro's making a tornado. It would really suck to die here, honestly. Oh, here we go. Oh, I lost my entire charge from that. Gotcha, bitch. Wait, there's scare ghosts here now? What the fuck? When did those guys get here? Kinda cuck me? Oh shit, get away from that. <laughs> hey man, this is a, this is a pretty good uh, mini boss. Yeah. Well, there we go. That was worth it. Gotcha, bitch. I'll take the health. Oh shit! <laughs> Get away from that. Oh fuck. He not get hit by the bombs, bro. There's so many of them. And there's scare ghosts, too. Oh, 
I'll catch these guys real quick. Hey, right, get over here. Get over here. Oh, huh, that was a good that was a good one. Alright, so now I can actually fix the bridge. <laughs> I think. Yeah, there we go. All because Luigi couldn't like make a short hop over the fence. <laughs> we went all the way around. Bro, it's 12 in the morning now. Honestly, worth it. Worth it playing Luigi's Mansion at 12 in the morning, bro. This was a great episode. Good going, Luigi. I knew you had it in you. You recovered the clock hands, and you've captured the ancient poltergeist. Let's get you back here. I don't want that poltergeist escaping from the poltergeist 5000. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Oh, yes. oh, oh. I did Yay! Yay! Ah. Oh, oh. 22 minutes. Another C not a two star, I'm okay with that. You know, we should get an idea of what Luigi's mansion or what what Luigi skin we're using next episode, shall we? That would probably be a good idea. Um Luigi's Mansion 2. Yeah. Let's have a look. Well, once I'm done with this cutscene. Well done, my boy, well done. That poltergeist and telekinetic power was no match for the poltergeist 5000. Oh, and your uh, tremendous strength and courage, of course. I got a lot of gems that mission. Bro, I got like four of them. And a gold guy. And that guy. Is that different from the orange poltergeists that I found? Boo! Holy crap, I got 1200. So is, um, 10k the max or what? Honestly, like, the only time the level 3 charge comes in handy is for enemies like the poltergeists, where they have like 100 of health, you know? Let's see those clock ends. <laughs> Criminy, that's only the minute hand. Where's the hour hand? Damn it, we got one of them. Well, one hand is better than no hands, I suppose. But where could that other hand be? Hmm. I tried to come up with a plan to find the missing hour hand. Kind of rhymed almost. <laughs> In the meantime, why don't you go wash up? The ghostly goo smell coming from your overalls is making me a little woozy. Yeah, so next in the next episode, we'll do um play catch. So we'll do that next time. But uh I think that's a great note to end the episode on. So let's see if there's any other good Luigi skins we can find on here. Uh they got Mr. L. They got Gooigi, that's cool. Let's see, um, yeah, that's pretty dope. Uh, so yeah, there are a few Luigi skins. There's also retro Luigi Game Boy style. That's kind of neat. So I mean, there's a lot of different Luigis. There's also classic Luigi. Um, what else is there? Scare Scraper Luigi's in story mode. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. You know what? Let me download one of those. I'm gonna download the pink Luigi. We'll do that in the next episode. Um, Mr. L is probably one of the better ones. <laughs> yeah. We'll get Mr. L for maybe the finale. I don't know. <laughs> or would that be too unfitting? Oh, they got Flying Luigi. Oh, that's oh, that's a banger one. You know, shout out to this guy for making all these good Luigi skins, man. We got lots of content. I might not even be able to show off all the Luigi skins. That's the thing. 
See, when I did my RPG, there was there was just enough skins for me to use a bunch for the whole game. But with this one, I might not be able to use a Luigi skin for every single episode. I mean, it depends, really. But anyways, it's just getting late. Um, it's not actually 12.14, it's actually 12.08. My uh, Switch's clock is fucked for some reason. So, whatever. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to like and subscribe to on YouTube and Twitch. And, um, I'll try and do the next episode as soon as I can. I mean, I that's what I want to say, but, hey, you know, just... Sometimes I just don't feel like doing it. Sometimes I feel like just taking a break, you know. I've been taking a bit more breaks uh, this past, like, few months. And mostly I've been working on Down Bad Edition, so that's kind of what's been keeping me so busy. And, uh, you know, I play with friends a bunch, but hey, Spooky Month's almost over. We're probably not going to finish all the Spooky games, which is a first, but I kind of don't give a shit now, <laughs> nowadays. Like, so what if I don't finish a game by the end of October? No rush, right? Just just have fun with the game. Anyways, I'll uh I'll see you guys in the next episode then, so take care.